Maybe as you said, dear Father Milton and our dear interpreters, a very warm welcome to each of you. Here we are. We come to do your will. Each delegate has expressed her here I am ready to discern God's call for our congregation today at this 21st general chapter as we are and we want to be Salvatorian women building bridges of mercy and of justice with people throughout the world. Who are we as we gather? We are 56 capitulars. In this moment we are 55, but we will be then 56. Who are representing 29 provinces, regions, houses or missions. Our median age is 54. One of us was professed just seven years ago. Two others, 61 years ago. For some of us, this is the first general chapter in which they have participated. More than half have been at, general, at the general chapter previously. Given this variety, it is important to remember that each one has been called to this chapter through the confidence of our sisters. So we need each of you, your gifts, your experience, your questions, your concerns and your dreams. Thank you for responding to the call to reflect together with others whose experience may be very different from your own, so that together we may enable our charism and mission to unfold more fully in response to God's calls coming from the present and the future. In addition to the capitulars, there are many people helping us in one way or another. It is above all our collaborators from the general aid and sisters from some provinces who have done the huge translation work. Others are the sisters from the mother house and the staff here in Villa Maria. We are happy that we will have the opportunity to meet all of them during the chapter to thank them for the work they have done in preparation and for all that they will continue to assist us over the next four weeks. Each of us has a responsibility to act in a spirit of discernment and together we want to become a discerning community. Thus we are each called to help build a community of the whole chapter, a community marked by those qualities which will <coughs> facilitate discernment. We are grateful to the facilitator, Sister Carol, and the spiritual companion, Sister Annette, who will have this at heart and who will help us to work and to pray in a discerning way. The general chapter <coughs> is the supreme authority of the congregation and all members have the same responsibility. One of the most important tasks of a general chapter is to guard the treasure of the charism, 
as to watch that this fire continues to burn and illuminate. This means discerning how our charism will be best lived today, how it is relevant for today. Each of us has been entrusted with this very important responsibility. It is striking that the general chapter coincided exactly with the year 2018, when we celebrated so many anniversaries of important events in the lives of Father Francis Jordan and many of the Apostles. By remembering and celebrating these jubilees in different ways throughout the chapter, we will welcome Father Jordan and many of the Apostles into our midst as we faithfully work to express and live their vision in this 21st century world. You may have noticed that the names of the tables express different aspects of our charism. I will now ask a sister from each table to read the name of the table each is an aspect of our charism.
Mary is a bridge and mediates at Cana in Galilee. She sees the problem of the people around her and says, they have no more wine. And at the same time, she trusts in Jesus transforming divine power. Do we feel challenged by the sufferings around us? Or have we become accustomed to the daily news about refugees and the troublesome dealings with our Mother Earth? And do people experience in us the confidence in God's transforming power? Does this trust enable us to not withdraw helplessly and frightened in the face of current political developments and demonstrations of power? Another bridge is the Samaritan woman at Jacob's well. In Jesus' conversation with this woman, he breaks the taboo of turning as a Jew to a foreign woman from a hostile territory. Today's migration movement gives us many opportunities to step out of supposed nationalistic security. We are invited to open ourselves up to the foreigner and to turn to the people who are sent along our way today. And finally, Mary of Magdala is a bridge who mediates between the rigid and the purely rational that can be and the ability through the feminine loving intuition to believe in the yet unknown. She is also able to convincingly carry this transforming message, message into the world. How attractive is our proclamation today? Do people still understand the language we use to speak to them about God? We need a bridge between people who have lost their access to God and Jesus, the true life, or who have never known God before, and what God offers us and to which God invites us. Such a bridge was Father Francis Jordan, with his passionate desire to make the pleasure of faith accessible to people by all means. His strong confidence in God's work give him, gave him the courage for the bold vision of starting something new. He was also convinced that nowadays there is little to be achieved by a single person. He saw very clearly the importance of involving women in this mission. As a result, Teresa von Willenweber, with her enthusiasm for following the apostles as a missionary, became Mary of the Apostles. She has made a difference in the world and shaped the lives of more than 5,500 Salvadorian women who have followed or at least started this path ever since. And today, at the beginning of the third millennium, it is we who are building bridges, bridges of mercy and justice with people throughout the world. As we now begin this chapter, we do so with the confidence that the spirit, the Ruach, precedes us and leads us. 
events in our talisman's mission which will frame all our work. He dwells in each one of the capitulars with whom we seek the will of God. When we then celebrate the Eucharist, let us ask the Spirit for the graces of openness, sensitivity, courage, discernment, great love. All that we need as we take up our responsibility during the following days and weeks. Together, now we embark on this journey of the general chapter, trusting in the Holy Spirit who calls us and leads us. I declare this general chapter 2018 to be open.